Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we talked about list in SharePoint Online. We learned what is a list, what is the use of a list in SharePoint. We learned how to create a list, how to add items within a list, how to create a list using Excel file, how to delete and restore a list, how to share a list with someone, or how to share the items of a list and how to check the version history of a list. In this particular video, we will learn how to use Microsoft Planner in SharePoint Online. We will learn how to create plans using Planner, how to create tasks in SharePoint, how to assign tasks to someone, how to track the progress of the task, and much more. So let's get started. Microsoft Planner is a service in Microsoft 365 that is used to create project plans. You can create tasks and you can assign these tasks to someone and you can track the progress of each task. To create a task using Planner in SharePoint Online site, you will go to the home page of the site and click New and click Plan. Under Plan Name, let's give it a name. For example, Project Plan. I will leave this option checked because I want to show this plan in the site navigation and click create. So in the navigation menu, we can see the project plan is created. And when you create a plan or a task, you basically create a bucket or a column. A bucket is a collection of plans or tasks. For example, if we are working on a project, there can be multiple tasks like planning, development, testing, implementation, monitoring, and so on. So we can create buckets for each task or each plan, and we can assign these tasks to each user. So let's create few plans here. If you want to rename a bucket or a column, click on this and rename it. Let's give it a name planning and let's create few more. Click add new bucket. Our next bucket will be deployment. Let's add few more. Testing. And next will be implementation. And let's add one more, which will be monitoring. So now we have five buckets or the columns. So this is basically a plan for our project, the different stages of a project. Now let's add the task. So the task is basically the assignments that we are going to assign to the users. To add a task, click add task under a particular bucket where you want to create the task and give it a name. So we are going to create this task for our project. So let's give it a name like collect details from client and click add task. Now the task is created and if you click on this task, you can assign this task to someone. I can click assign and let's say I want to assign this to Bob Ross. Click assign and add. So this task is assigned to Bob Ross. And under bucket, you can change the bucket as well, but I'll leave it as planning. Under progress, you can select if the task is not yet started or this task is in progress or this particular task is completed. So this task is not started yet, so I'll leave it as it is. Under priority, you can select if this task is urgent, important, medium or it has low severity and then we have start date you can select the start date when bob ross will have to start working on this task so let's select 7th of august and due date will be the date by when bob ross will have to complete this task so this date will be the deadline for bob ross so let's say I want him to complete this task by 15th of August. Under notes, you can add the notes as well. For example, 
collect details from client related to the project and then we have checklist let's say the task that we have created collect details from client this task has subtask as well like collect design of site collect content for the site and so on so we can create this subtask under this to create a subtask what do you need to do where it says add an item type here the subtask name for example collect site design and hit enter let's add one more collect site content so now we have two subtasks under this particular task so like this you can create subtasks you can also add attachments you can add comments here for the user to whom you are going to assign this particular task for example hi bob please work on this task and mark the status and click send so now this task is assigned to bob ross so let's go to the mailbox of bob ross and here we have email notification and it says concepts assigned a task to you here you can see this is a planner task and so now bob ross will click on this link he will be redirected to microsoft planner and he can see the task here he can see the name of the bucket or the column he can see the progress priority of the task the start date end date these are the comments that we added he can see this particular task has subtask as well and here he can see the comments those are added for bob ross now when we assign a task to someone that task is stored in the exchange online mailbox of that user if we go back to the mailbox of bob ross and if we click on to do and go to assigned to me here we can see this task which is assigned to bob ross and once bob ross will complete this task this task will be removed from his mailbox and if you delete a task from your mailbox you can go to the deleted items of your mailbox and you can restore it from there so the task is stored within the exchange online mailbox of the user to whom that particular task is assigned let's go back to sharepoint online site and let's add few more tasks click add task and here let's give it a name deploy the sharepoint online site click add task under testing let's add test this site once ready add task and under implementation or the other stages of your project you can add similar task if you want to add another task under a particular column or the bucket click add task and here you can create one more for example create subsite add and you can click on the task again you have all the options you can assign the task and under priority let's select urgent select start date let's say 15th of august and due date will be 30th you can add checklist as well create hub site for example and you can add comments as well and once done click send and like this you can create different type of task under each bucket now let's say bob ross has completed the task that was assigned to him so bob ross will go back to his mailbox or the planner and here let's say he has completed this particular subtask so he can click on this and this will be marked as completed or it will be striked through and let's say he has completed this subtask as well he will click on this this is also completed it shows the progress 
2 out of 2 are completed. Now let's say he has completed the complete task that was assigned to him. So he will click on this and this will be marked as completed. And if we go back to the SharePoint site, let me refresh. And we can see that particular task is moved under completed task. Now, apart from this, we can also monitor the progress of the task using charts. At the top within the planner, you see charts. Click on this. Here you can see the status of each task. How many tasks are not started yet in progress or delayed or completed? You can see all the buckets and these are the number of tasks created under each bucket. Then you have the priority, urgent, important, medium, low. From here you can find out what particular task has what level of priority. And here you can see to whom a particular task is assigned. We can see one is assigned to Bob Ross. It shows green. That means that particular task is completed. You can see here it says completed one and it says not started. On the right, you can see the buckets that we have created. We can see the priority of the task and we can also see the user to whom a particular task is assigned. Now, there are multiple ways to access these plans or the task that we have created. One of the ways is you can open SharePoint site. You can go to the plan and here you can see all the tasks. Those are created or within browser type task dot office dot com and click sign in. And here we see our SharePoint site IT and where we have created project plan planner. So click on this and here we can see all the tasks. Apart from this, you can click quick launch and more apps. If you do not see planner here, click all apps and look for planner, open it. We can see our SharePoint site here and we can see all the tasks that we have created. And let's go to Bob Ross mailbox. So we can see the task is removed from his to-do list because he has completed the task. So this is how you can use Microsoft Planner in SharePoint Online to create and manage tasks. So that is all for today. If you learned something new from this particular video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video